Hello, welcome to Reparation Technology. iPhone 14 is more than a year away, yet remarks about the Apple could remove the notch, add a hole punch camera and bring autofocus to the selfie camera. Other upgrades will include a new processor and a possible move to a portless design. A lot of features and developments are coming and brought to you. So don't skip the video. Continue with me. I'm gonna explain the new features and development for iPhone 14. So here I'm going to explain camera 48 megapixel and 8k video size of display face id fingerprint charging system development icloud and network now let's talk about camera and videos okay in 2022 apple could develop a 48 megapixel sensor for its camera which can output 12 megapixel images using pixel binning uh, in fact, uh, this 12 megapixel image would have a pixel size of 2.5 UM, which would complete with some DSC model. But the camera would also have a mode that can output large 48 megapixel images in certain situations. Also, some rumors suggest a fourth camera model could be added to a future iPhone. This would be a periscope lens using light folding for long distance shots. It is more likely that this is coming to iPhone 14 according to report from Ming Ching Ku. And the selfie camera could gain out autofocus for the first time according to Q. It is also supposed to take an whole punch design with the removal of the notch. Well, charging port, the new design and new technologies. Everyone thinking about the charging port, that's gonna be uh, something unique. Apple is going to decide not to use lightning port and rather than relying on mega safe and wireless connectivity for charging and data transfer. Unity mega safe will need to become a much more mature system. So audience uh, we are just waiting a new iPhone 14 without charging port. So it's, a, it's awesome I think because when we are going to water resist telephone and charging port uh, without charging ports it's gonna be very effective continue with face id or apple uh, sh uh, should come back to uh, touch id i mean fingerprint i mean it was touch id first then they have added face id so one thing apple did not anticipate however is a global pandemic that would require everyone to cover their face in public with 5g and wi-fi 6 becoming more standard around the world the data transfer component is becoming less of an issue only the most specific use case or diagnostic tools would need a wired connection also apple is testing a method of method to hide a diagnostic port in the sim what about size of display well uh, the iphone 12 was a major change from the rounded as seen on several generations of iphone it gained flat side and a style reminiscent of the iphone 4 era of design if the notch is removed then apple can make use of the entire iphone display this may affect the aspect ratio of the screen but Apple could choose to keep device at the same size regardless. Currently, uh, ratio 69 videos fit perfectly within the display below the notch, so the added space wouldn't change how content is viewed. Well, Apple could choose to make their devices shorter so the active display. What is iCloud? In fact, to store, manage, and process data in remote servers hosted on the internet rather than a local server or a personal computer. That is iCloud. Investment in hardware and data centers, which will concentrate its invest in the clouds offered by the IT market. It also means that business can outsource their computer power instead of investing in hardware, software, 
and staff to maintain it. The iCloud is very important uh, after realizing things Apple is gonna bring a big a lot of information like bank, insurance, personal photos and notes uh, they, they used to have in their uh, mobile and if, if it is broken, uh, if it is stolen, uh, uh, rather than uh, losing everything, they are going to have their everything in the cloud system. So in cloud system, as it is a remote um, hosted on the internet, so even someone took your phone, you are going to recover all of your data from the cloud rather than any country, rather than any place. Wherever you are, you just have to have the access to internet, that's all. So it's a really big news from the Apple users.